Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's pick a card is advice that will help you on your path right now, okay? Advice that will help you on your path right now, okay? We have four piles. Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Pile number one, we have this beautiful labradorite crystal. Pile number two, we have this beautiful raw rose quartz crystal. Pile number three, we have this gorgeous goldstone star. Amazing. <laughs> and pile number four, we have this really pretty clear quartz tower crystal. Okay. So again, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I'll let you all meditate on your pile. Okay, my lovely dreamy dreamers. And just to include, I have a tarot journal coming out Friday. So tomorrow I'm filming this on December 1st. So it will be coming out tomorrow. And well, hopefully it'll be coming out tomorrow because I have to wait until it goes live on Amazon. So I want you all to check that out. Uh, you know, me and the designer Sandrine Ann, I will put her Instagram in the description box really put our heart and souls into it. We really worked hard on it. So uh, yeah, I think it'll be a treat for everyone who's interested, okay? So again, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I will see you in your pile. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to your pile. So you all chose this really gorgeous labradorite crystal, which is a very spiritual stone in and of itself. But I do, I did get a crystal Bible and I've been wanting it for years. I don't know why I'm just now getting it. So I do want to read the interpretation from the crystal Bible just to help people get acquainted with the um, gemstones or the crystals that we use on this channel. Okay, so let's get into it. So it says labradorite, okay, and it says attributes. It says the iridescent labradorite is a highly mystical and protective stone, a bringer of light. It raises consciousness and connects with universal energies. Labradorite deflects unwanted energies from the aura and prevents energy leakage. It says it forms a barrier to negative, let me turn the page. It for, forms a barrier to negative energies shed during therapy so you can also take this with you i guess you know if you're in therapy or you know you're in talk therapy or something like that or you're talking with uh you know a mentor or someone who's just kind of helping you along your way um you can bring this with you so I'm, I'm just now knowing this information as well so it says it can take you into another world or into other lives a stone of esoteric knowledge it facilitates initiation into the mysteries so there's obviously a lot more in this book but I just wanted to read the first paragraph so whoever has chosen or obviously you're in this pile whoever's watching this has chose either this labradorite crystal or just this pile you know was calling to you all um I feel like y'all are opening up a path of initiation or to state it better, a path of initiation is opening up to you all, okay? So you might be bombarded with esoteric knowledge that maybe you don't know why is coming into your psyche right now. You may have like a lot of actually um, esoteric creative knowledge coming to you in the forms of books, films, literature, like... The people, my creatives out there who watch these readings, y'all might have gotten like an idea for like some form of like creative expression, maybe through like a downward spiral or through like you felt like you were kind of like 
losing your footing and then boom, some really amazing idea came to you and you're like, I'm going for that. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to do this idea, right? So it's almost like the, the calm before the storm or the darkness before the dawn, right? You probably went through this kind of like, maybe dark period and obviously it's not going to resonate with everyone but you could have went through this maybe this tunnel so to speak and you came the you know the light was at the end of it and uh it wasn't in vain whatever you went through whatever experience that you had okay so let's put this up here and let's now reveal your pile selection cards your pile selection card as it pertains to you uh the advice that will help you on your path right now okay so we have a sextile so i am using the heavenly bodies astrology deck so this is sextile it says a combination of tension and flow this is basic that was literally what i was trying to say like you know it wasn't in vain whatever you were experiencing maybe was tense uh, as you're experiencing it, but it offered this fluidity to you at the end of it. So let's see, it says potential and a rewarding situation. How about that? Okay. So I do want to read a little bit from this guidebook because I'm not as well versed as I would like to be in astrology. And I feel like we're all learning here. So let's get the book. It's so nice. Like it's a hard copy too. I'm like, I, I really love this. So let's see, sextile, sextile. Okay, so the sextile energy says when two planets sit, sit 60 degrees away from one another, they are in sextile and symbolically the gatekeepers to a beautiful healing. Oh my goodness. So I have to interject because I meant to show y'all the bottom of the deck uh, during the pile selection, but we have Chiron, which is hurt and healing. So it's interesting that like, I felt like y'all have come from like this hurt place, but it was really because you were healing simultaneously and you perhaps you didn't realize it because when we're, we're, when we're in the thick of whatever's happening in our lives, we really can't see the big picture. We really can't see what the most high God spirit is actually opening up and opening to us, right? This threshold, right? It's like this, this, it's almost like the hermit card. Like think about the strenuous journey it takes to get to the top of that mountain to be able to see the bigger picture, right? It takes a trek and then you have to sit with it before it settles in, before you realize, oh my goodness, this is what's actually going on. This is what's happening. And then what's after the hermit, card number nine, I believe the hermit is, it's the will of fortune. Your luck has turned up, okay? So I digress. Let's uh, continue <laughs> with this reading. So it says, yeah. So when two planets sit 60 degrees away from one another, they are in sextile and symbolically the gatekeepers to a beautiful healing. With diligent effort, this combination of tension and flow leads to great rewards. There is potent energetic flow between the planets involved, but like a garden, the relationship needs tending. And with guidance and nurturing, a sextile blossoms bestowing its gifts, okay? So the key words are potential. And then uh, it says a combination of tension and flow, a rewarding situation. So it is said that when you're in autotelic energy, which translates into like a flow state, you need the right concoction of tension or something that requires your effort or, or work, right? With it coming easy to you. You need that right balance. And that's what I'm seeing here for you, pile number one. So advice that will help you on your path right now is that is basically trust in the process, okay? But we're gonna disclose all that's coming up in these cards. So let's let's get into it, right? So we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like, again, you're leaving what is no longer serving you. You're leaving the things uh, that are of the past, okay? What I like to say, yesteryear behind, right? You're leaving that hurt. You're leaving that pain. You're, le you're leaving that uh, unwarranted suffering behind in the dust because I f have a feeling you feel like you've came, saw, and conquered, and now you're moving to your rewards, right? 
you're moving to that rewarding situation from the potential that you were kind of building up, okay? So we have 10 cards here. We'll do the Celtic cross and we're going to start in the you now heart of the matter situation, which is a five of pentacles. So I feel like some of some of you, if it applies, could have been going through a dark night of the soul or could still be in that um, dark night of the soul energy. But not all is lost. OK, I feel like you're finally realizing here with in the uh, crossing energy or the challenge energy that you have a lot of options. And I also feel as if pile number ones, um, because you have a lot of options, because you have a lot of choices and because that could have created a little bit of fog in your mind or like mental fog or mental fatigue or option paralysis, right, confusion that's where you entered that slippery slope when it came to that dark night of the soul. That's where it's kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm so confused. There's so much going on. It's like overtaking me, right? But I feel like um, you're edging yourself out of that energy, okay? In the conscious goal position, we have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you have a lot of energy, you have a lot of know-how, you have a lot of passion that's driving you, but I feel like you're stuck in between fully committing and then um, kind of like trying to get yourself out of it, if that makes sense, okay? With the Knights, it's all about the extremities. So it's like, yeah, I wanna fully commit, yeah, I wanna give it my all, and then you maybe start to second guess yourself or you start to experience lethargy, something of that matter. You also could be dealing with a, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, at this uh, point in time too, that's maybe having uh, you maybe second guess yourself, or you want to run right into them, or vice versa, maybe they want to run right into you if you're the uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I feel like it's it's this one foot in, one foot out type of energy just because it doesn't seem like there's a groundedness to it, to whatever it is that you're seeking as of right now. But I feel as if that groundedness is, that groundedness is coming, but you're still very passionate. And I feel like you're st still kind of like fly by the seat of your pants type of energy, if, if that makes sense to anyone. So in the unconscious goal position, you want the proverbial smoke, pile number ones. We have the six of wands. You want it all. You want the acclamation. You want the fame. You want the notoriety. But I feel like you, you want it, but you want it how you want it, if that makes sense. Like you don't want it to come in and it like overwhelm you or overtake you or you won't be able to handle it. You want it due to your merits. You don't just want it for the sake of having this notoriety, because that could be a slippery slope, right? So in your unconscious goal, you do want admiration, you do want praise, and I feel like you're wondering right now, well, how am I going to get it? Because I do want it for, I want it merit-wise, what, right? I want it because I put in this work, I put in this effort. I don't just want the fame or the notoriety or the success just for the success sake. Uh, in the uh, in the con mm, sorry in the past position we have the fool so you've definitely already taken that leap of faith okay uh, some of you might be Aries or some of you might be dealing with Aries but I feel like you've taken that leap of faith into the unknown and that's what could have led you into this five of Pentacles energy just saying that like energetic wise and I. I do know that pentacles do kind of like revolve around the material, the tangible, the, like what's happening in the 3D. So I feel like because you took that leap of faith, you might be feeling a little like, huh, okay, I, I had a parachute and I'm safe, but I don't have bounty, but I feel like the bounty is coming, pile number ones, okay? So in the approaching influence, we have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you're getting back on track, which is um, coming in with the sextile energy, right? So it could be the way the moon, the stars, uh, the firmaments are aligning for you right now. But with this Queen of Swords energy, you could be dealing with an air sign, air um, Libras. <laughs> 
excuse me, y'all, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, or you yourself could be embodying that energy right now, pile number ones. I feel like you're very uh, forthright. You're being very honest with yourself. You know that you have a lot of experience under your belt, so you're very apt to do what's required of you now. You're very uh, maybe quick on the draw with your opinions right now when it comes to other people. And I feel like this energy is actually alleviating you out of that five of pentacles energy because it's really mind over matter, right? And as we've, you know, I don't know if everyone knows this, but science realizes that matter doesn't exist because everything is vibrating. Everything moves right so our thoughts are usually the conduit to our circumstance it's rarely the uh the opposite of that right so using you're really using your thoughts in your mind to create new worlds for you which is beautiful so in um your inner resources slash talent position we have the judgment card okay so i feel like you're you're being vindicated okay you know how to vindicate yourself and you know how to almost like give a pep talk to yourself you could be listening to sweet music you could need to listen to music to uh inspire you or to reinvigorate you or make a playlist i'm saying that because this cute depiction of this uh trumpet player and this uh creature down here um it's rising up from the ashes, so to speak, because they're being called to, right? So I feel like you're able to adhere to the call. You're able to answer the call when uh, when you receive it, pile number ones, which is great, which is beautiful. And that could be a call to, um, a call to action, right? A call for you to really realize how m many options you have in this life and to act accordingly. In the How Others See You, we have the Four of Swords. So people can tell that you might need a break right now. You know, you've been taking some time to yourself to recuperate, to gather your bearings, so to speak, and to really put your best foot forward, right? But sometimes we do need a break. Sometimes we do need to kind of disconnect, to log off, uh, you know, tell our friends that, you know, we'll see them next week, you know, so to speak, and to rest. So I have a feeling like people feel like you're in this very restful state and um, you could just be taking a break from everyone or everything so that you can get your mind back focused on your objective. So in the hopes and fears position, you have the nine of swords. So I feel like your hope is to gain this victory, right? The six of wands. But I feel like you might fear it simultaneously, pile number ones, because you, uh, because of everything that comes with it, right? Because of everything that comes with notoriety. Um, I don't even really like to say fame. I'm just for lack of a better term, fame, or like being in the spotlight, you know, having all eyes on you, having the attention on you, right? Some of you all may be introverted and might not even like the spotlight like that. You want to be known for your, that meritocracy, you know, you doing the best work, right? You want the, the success and the fame to be a byproduct of all the, of your input, right? But you, it's like, you know that it will help you, but it's also like, will it hurt me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you want it, but you also understand what comes with it. And that could offer you a little anxiety also, right? But I feel like you know that what comes with it far surpasses the anxiety that you feel with... Um, maybe the not so pleasant experiences coming with it because you know if you can help as many people as you possibly can then that's gonna outweigh the negatives of this attention regardless right and look at that in the outcome position we have the will of fortune so i feel like you're sitting pretty you're sitting handsomely you're sitting beautifully pile number ones at the end of this right the will of fortune is like 
things are turning up and everything is starting to work in your favor right now because you really put in the time and the effort and you've really done your due diligence, right? And you taking that leap of faith is what's leading you to almost like the top of your craft or, you know, putting you on the top of your game, okay? So be gracious while you're up, while you're up at the top. Be gracious while things are working for you in your favor. And I will also say I I've been hearing through the grapevine that uh Jupiter is entering Pisces if it hasn't already. And uh I think Jupiter is entering Aries next year or something or if Aries is in your second house then that's where it will be something like that, right? So utilize the movement of the firmaments to actually aid and assist you on your path right now, because this is what I'm getting. And you have done that. You're doing that, right? So you could have gotten this energetic upswing, pile number ones, because of the alignment of the stars or what's going on in the ethers. But don't just rest on that, right? Don't just rest on that. Continue to move. Continue to put your ideas to the forefront, whether you're just writing them down, whether you're verbalizing them to the people you know and trust, right? Maybe a select few, uh, or whether you're just vocalizing that to yourself over and over again. But this is really beautiful because there's an upswing, there's an uptick in your quote unquote luck, in your blessings right now. So definitely continue to um, embrace it. And by embracing it and by still being in action and um, yeah, by still moving forward in your life and doing the things that you need to do, that's going to get you to your objective, right? Um, it's just going to work more fluidly for you. It's going to turn out very smoothly. Okay. So let's pull a, let's pull a goddess. Eh. Let's pull a life purpose oracle card. Okay. To end your reading. Cause we're, Ooh, look at, look, look at what came out. I just opened this. I'm not going to take it, but career change. It says you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. So that's a message from someone. I literally just opened this box. <laughs> this just flipped out to writing. It says you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. And what did I just say earlier in the reading? Like whatever dark night of the soul that you were having was not in vain because it might have ushered in some type of like inspiration, right? But um, let's pull three cards to conclude your reading pile number ones let's use our wand to clear this deck i think i hit three times okay thank you god thank you spirit the most high for cleansing and blessing this deck for giving pile number three's clear concise guidance and wisdom to end their readings what advice, guidance, and wisdom do you want to impart on our call number ones that will help them on their on their path right now? Advice, guidance, and wisdom to help call number ones on their path right now. Three cards. Thank you. Advice, guidance, and wisdom. Okay, this flipped out, so I'm just going to take this. One more card, Spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number ones. Thank you. I love this. Okay, so we have at the bottom of the deck, time to decide. It says, make a decision based on your heart's true desires. Okay, I love that. So, Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I caught that on camera. So we have writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words that you write. So a lot of y'all have a book in your heart, right? Have a book in your heart. Some of y'all have been wondering, oh, should I write this book? Should I not? It's time to decide, okay? You're a leader and you're protected in whatever you do. Look, this protected card says you are safe and supported while you change your career. So a lot of you all could be working maybe a nine to five or working for a company or corporation, and you might enjoy what you do, but you know you have something else to offer. You have something else to put out. And what Spirit is telling you is like, 
look, take the charge of this situation. Leadership. It literally says take the charge. Take charge of this situation. You're taking the charge by deciding to just write this book, write this novel, uh, put it out there, right? Um, and, you know, I don't know if this is Archangel Michael energy, but you're protected while you make your your plan, right, to do that. You're protected. So no matter what you do, you can't fail but write this book or write this screenplay or write whatever that your heart is calling you to write right now. <laughs> Pile number ones, okay? So with that being said, my lovely dreamy dreamers, I love y'all so much. If this reading resonated with you, hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, my dreamy dreamers, I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Also, please check out that tarot journal that's going to go live soon. The descript the uh, link should be in the description box down below. Literally Friday, so which is tomorrow, uh, February tw February second. If it's not tomorrow, it will be up soon. So just anticipate it, okay? Uh, just because I have to wait for the book to go live, uh, for the yeah for the journal to go live, and then you all can start ordering them. But um, but yeah, I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful rose quartz crystal, okay, for your pile selection crystal. So in regards to advice, guidance, and wisdom on your path right now, this could have something to do with love, self-love, the essence of unconditional love, things of that nature. However, I did get a crystal Bible and I do want to read uh, the first paragraph of what it says about the rose quartz crystal, just because why not? I've been wanting this, <laughs> this uh, book for years and I don't know why I'm just getting it, but I would love to share this with y'all. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so it says rose quartz, and this is in raw form. So it says additional properties. Rose quartz is the stone of unconditional love and infinite peace. I love that infinite peace part. Uh, it says it is the most important crystal for the heart and the heart chakra. Teaching the true essence of love. It purifies and opens the heart at all levels and brings deeper inner healing and self-love. It says it is calming, reassuring, and excellent use for an excellent for use in trauma or crisis. If you want to attract love, look no further than romantic rose quartz. <clears throat> okay, it says placed by your bed or in the relationship corner of your home. It is so effective in drawing love and relationships towards you that it often often needs amethyst to calm things down. Okay, I love that. And it says in existing relationship it will restore trust and harmony and encourage unconditional love. So I love this. So um, some of you, not everyone, but those who this message resonates with could be searching for love, could be searching for your uh, person, so to speak. And if you're not, you could be searching or want to be in more harmony with yourself, right? They place the emphasis on self-love in, in um, that description as well. And, and the essence of unconditional love, and that means love for self, but not overdoing love for self, uh, including others, right? Because sometimes, especially with this self-love movement that's been happening for the past like year now, uh, year now multiple years now, we tend to lose focus on uh, camaraderie and partnership and, and the love of others as well. Because uh, I feel like we may have placed too much emphasis, not on purpose, but just, uh, you know, just being involved in the time, so to speak. We could have put too much emphasis on self and not community or uh, the love of others simultaneously, right? So I love that for y'all. I'm going to put this crystal right here. Now let's reveal your pile selection card as it pertains to advice on your path right now. Oh, look at that. We have the self-love queen and king with Leo, right? That's awesome. And look at that heart. 
I swear, it's just tarot is amazing. Tarot is will never not surprise me, right? So we have self-confidence, loyalty, and creativity. So I feel like you all are bustling with self-love, loyalty, and creativity as it pertains to this Leo card. Some of you might have a lot of Leo highly aspected in your chart, or you could be Leos, obviously not all of us, uh, but some of you all may be Leos or have a lot of Leo highly aspected in your chart, chart or 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 can have leo in um really distinct places in your uh, natal chart like your 10th house or like um maybe your second house or something i don't know but uh it says self-confidence loyalty and creativity so you could be like fuming with creativity right now and um you also could a rose quartz could really help you with that unconditional love aspect when it pertains to your self-confidence, right? Being more confident in yourself when it comes to maybe interacting with a, uh, another person or people in general. But I do want to read a little bit from this, um, from the guidebook. Okay, so it says Leo. So it says, all fire signs have a childlike essence and an incredible passionate disposition. It says, Leo is the most refined of the bunch, deeply confident and committed to self-expression. These are warm people who light up a room and want to be seen. Natural performers, and that's funny because that's why I had to say Leo and 10th house because it's like how you operate with the public, you know, what's your public persona, you know, things of that nature. So it says, these are warm people who light up in a room and want to be seen. Natural performers, innately entertaining and playful. Their confidence exudes a noble quality and their heartfelt connection to life makes them proud. It says, they walk with conviction and have an unshakable loyalty to wherever they focus their attention. Okay, so I'm... That's where, where I'll end. And it says, keywords, energetics. It says, warmth, loyalty, pride, confidence, experiences, creativity, generosity, play, performing, shadow, arrogant, vain, unwilling to admit fault. So what I'm getting is you're believing, you're right now, pile number twos, y'all are leaving behind what is not serving you, what is not getting you to that next step, that next level in your life. I'm literally filming this on December 1st, and it's the beginning of the month. So we have a lot. Imagine, you know the saying, imagine, I mean, what a difference a day can make. Imagine the difference 30 days can make. You can like literally cultivate a whole new persona, a whole new personality, a whole new take on life in 30 days, right? They say, and and this differs from person to person, it takes 21 days to, to um, enable a habit, right? Or fix a habit or create a new habit. So it varies, right? Not every person is, is, um, that's going to be truth for, but imagine 30 days, imagine tacking on an extra nine days and, you know, you can create that habit then, or at least be well on your way to creating a, a better habit of maybe exuding more confidence or having that self-loyalty, right? Which is innately is integrity, right? And really exuding your creativity. So I love this. And it's so interesting because look, this card is pink. And then the rose quartz, like, I promise y'all, I did not do this I have to start shuffling on a screen. I'm just so used to not. But anyways, I digress. Let's move into your reading. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like you could have have been or could be currently experiencing uh, twinges of anxiety that's coming in and out, like almost as if it's waking you up out of your sleep at night and it's worrying you. And the worries are actually being brought to the forefront of your consciousness, which are maybe being exhibited in your current reality right now. So I feel like a rose quartz will definitely help y'all on your path right now. So you can kind of like cool those fires, so to speak, cool that, that, that overactive mind, right? We also have a decent amount of swords cards here. We have four, if you count the bottom of the deck and we have four pentacle cards here. So I feel as if, you know, the things that you are thinking are coming to fruition right now. So you want to make sure that you think just thoughts, lovely thoughts, 
thoughts that are a good rapport to you and others, because that's what's going to be coming uh, to the forefront of your experience, pile number two is okay. So let's begin. We're going to do the Celtic cross and we're going to start in the you now heart of the matter position with the eight of cups. So I feel like you're just leaving behind the things that no longer serves you. You're leaving behind bad habits, uh, maybe like uh, bad thought patterns. You know what I'm saying? Anxiety, uh, worrisome thought patterns that maybe keep you up at night that don't allow you to get deep, plentiful rest. Right. And I feel like you're just you're really making that that uh decision to do that okay and i feel like you're going to your nine of cups so to speak you're going to your wish fulfillment and you know you can't remain in this um maybe like this distrustful or this anxiety prone energy any longer because it's really steering you off your course to where you know you want to go now in the crossing energy or the challenge position is it's is the six of swords here so it's probably hasn't been the easiest to refrain from a negative thought pattern, right? To kind of calm the waters of your mind and to get into more um, of an easy state of mind, right? It hasn't been the easiest, but I feel like you're doing it. You're you're walking away. You've, you've made your choice. So it's being done. But I feel like maybe in the most recent past, it hasn't been the easiest. You really had to work up and build up to that, right? through repetition, maybe through affirmations, maybe through reading insightful books that give you clarity about the mind. It's almost like you had to reintroduce a positive mindset in order to be able to escape what you're leaving, right? In the conscious goal position, we have the queen of pentacles. So I feel like you love to nurture, but you also know that you need to nurture yourself in the realm of like, finances, your material, things of that nature. I feel like uh, I love how they're holding that coin because it's almost like an earring, but they have earrings on their horns. It's funny. So I just feel like with the queen of pentacles in the conscious gold position, pile number twos, you're loving, you're caring, you're kind, but I feel like you also want to nurture others through nurturement of yourself. And I feel like you know the best way to do that is through having resources, through providing resources. I feel like you're the type of person who would give someone the, you know, shirt off your back, you know, if they needed it. And because of that, you're really um, paying particular attention to the material things in your life um, in regards to... It's almost like you're using the how of your friends and your family in your personal life to get to, or, or not the how, I'm so sorry. You're using your why with your personal life and your family in order to get certain goals achieved, right? Because the queen of pentacles, they're going to take care of people because they have the abundance and the resourcefulness and the know-how and the heart to do so, okay? Now, in the unconscious goal position, we have the three of pentacles. So I feel like you know that you need a team. You know you need to work together. You know that, um, you know, you can't do this alone. And I feel like you're cultivating that team slowly but surely. Or maybe you feel like you are kind of doing this alone right now. Like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, but in in your heart of hearts, you really do want to ass assemble a team that will really help to bring your, uh, your goals or the things that you want out of life to fruition, right? You know you can't do it alone. In the past position, we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like there could have been some good news and love that came in, maybe like a gentle gesture or a gentle reminder uh, to take it easy, to be more lighthearted, to uh, have a more lighthearted approach when it comes to something or someone, okay? There could have been some heavy flirtation or lighthearted flirtation, and it, it, maybe it lifted your spirits a little bit. Maybe that was just what you needed, right? I feel like you weren't taking things too seriously in the recent past, okay? In the approaching influence, we have the two of swords. So I feel like you're about to make a head over heart decision. You might be feeling guarded right now, maybe as it pertains to leaving a situation, person, place, or thing, take what resonates, leave the rest. 
Uh, but I feel like you're going to make the decision that's right for you. And that's in the best, um, that's the best possible outcome from, uh, for others as well. Right. But I feel like you, that calmness that you have kind of been struggling with is coming. So, you know, the euphemism still waters run deep. So I feel like while that still waters is, is kind of like your background, you're also cooling the fire so that you can be level-headed enough to make a decision uh, that won't end up hurting you or anyone else, right? In um, your talents and resources, we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like your mind is ready. Your, mar your mind is sharp. Your mind is agile. You're ready to just like dive into uh, what's ahead of you, right? Or what's in front of you. Um, so that is a talent and that is a resource yet. You do have to realize that certain things take time. So it's good that you have like, you, there could be fast moving thoughts here, but I would recommend writing it down because those thoughts are leading to something good that's going to come to fruition. But by writing it down, at least you know, okay, look, I took action. I actually rapidly uh, jotted everything down that I was thinking. So I don't have to put that pressure on myself or others to just, you know, go gung ho, so to speak, right? And how others see you, we have the sun. People see you as like a light. People see you as a treasure, okay? You could be a Leo. People see your energetic um, personality and that vibrancy that you bring into a room. You light up a room, right? And people see that you're just very abundant when it comes to your energy, your material, whether that be your space, your home, your, um, you know, you're just an abundant person overall. But people see and know that you bring light and levity into a situation and, and they love that you're around because of that you offer people uh feel good energy feel good vibrations right uh in the hopes and fears position it's you we have the five of pentacles so it's like you hope to keep going forward right you don't want to victimize yourself by saying oh i don't have any help or oh you know it's only me doing this that and third but i feel like you fear that like uh what if i'm just kind of being silent and not saying the truth just so i don't come across as like a victim or like oh she or oh they're just you know they're always victimizing their situation or they're always harping on, you know, what they don't have instead of what they do have. So it's okay to speak up. If you need help, pile number uh, two, speak up. You know, Aaliyah Leo would definitely speak up. They're confident enough. They're loyal. So they know that the rapport that they built with others will leave them in good standing and they, that they could use, uh, as a form of leverage, right? And not like on purpose, like, oh my God, I'm leveraging this relationship. But no, like I've been there countless of times for different uh, people. You know, I know I can find someone who could help me with something. And you've probably been approached uh, in regards to help. Uh, also pile number two. So keep that in mind. Now, in the outcome position, y'all got two cards, and we have the nine of pentacles and the four of wands. It doesn't get any better than this. I feel like you might be doing things independently right now, but they're working for you, okay? They're, it's leaving you stable. It's leaving you in this really good place financially. Uh, it's leaving you with financial freedom. It's leaving you with freedom of choice as well as what I'm getting. And you're doing so independently. And I feel like God, Spirit, Source, Energy really wanted you to kind of like hone in on doing things independently for the time being. So imagine the powerhouse you can be once you have um, worked on something independently and you know it from top to bottom and then you usher in help and then you assemble your team. Imagine how much, how, how much, um, expertise you have built up and you'll know the rope so you'll actually know what's going on when you hand off that responsibility to another person or to other people okay so this is beautiful this is definitely beautiful pile number twos and i feel like what spirit wants you to know on your path right now in regards to advice help aid assistance is that 
It's okay that you're doing things on your own right now because you're learning and you're cultivating. But eventually, we know that in your heart of hearts, deep down in your subconscious, you know you're going to need help soon. So this is all working out in your favor. Um, and spirit wants you to have confidence, wants you to have that self-love, wants you to also have the love of others and use that uh, creatively to uh, assemble relationships or to better refine your relationships. So when that time comes to hand off something to someone else, you already know what's happening behind the scenes because you've done it, you've mastered it, right? So you already know what's what 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 that's going to be about, and you're really just having someone else to um, to do, you know, the kind of like the the um, the task, right? But you already know the work that's being done is what I'm trying to say. So let's pull three cards from the Life Purpose Oracle deck to end your reading so thank you god thank you spirit for cleansing and blessing this deck for giving power to be clear divine guidance was an insight on their path right now advice guidance and wisdom to end off power number two's reading on their path right now advice guidance and wisdom on power number two's path right now that was quick so we're gonna pull Two more, two more cards. Advice, guidance, and wisdom on pile number two's path right now. Thank you. One more card, spirit. One more card. Advice, guidance, and wisdom on our pile number two's path right now. Okay. So these two cards uh, flipped up, so I'm just going to use that. And we have at the bottom of the deck, we have sensitivity. It says you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So y'all, I will give an example. This kind of resonates with me. I love coffee and I have some other vices that I love too. I, I usually keep them in check. I, I'm not like addicted or anything. Coffee might be a little bit of a, an addiction, but I always tell myself I really don't have an addict. I don't have an addictive personality. I feel like that's a gift and a curse, right? Because when it comes to people who do have addictive personalities, they can get fixated on something like work and like work, 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 and it will kind of lead to their benefit in that area of their life. But in other areas of life, it might not be the best, right? With me, I'm always like, I need to work on my commitment. It's like flipped, right? So I say that because this sensitivity, I'm realizing as I do this spiritual work, as I'm um, kind of like enriching myself to uh, do energy healing or some type of energy work, excuse me, not just energy healing, but energy work as in reading the tarot. Um, there's certain things I can't even do anymore, like drink an excess amount of coffee or stay up super late or like, you know, drink like I used to with friends and even be out in huge crowds because it just, I am just in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm so in it. I can't even see past the energies, right? So if that resonates with y'all, you know, put it down in, in the comment section if that resonates with y'all because I've realized as the years progress and as I delve more into my spirituality and to helping others facilitate their spirituality and their self their their love journey, right? Self-love and the love of uh people in general, right? Um I've realized there's just certain things I have to put away. But again, this is about y'all, not me. I just hope someone found a connection in that story. But let's reveal your first card. It says, let go. Ooh, yeah, this, this pile is hitting for me. So it says, walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So if there's something, look, and we have the Eight of Cups. This is, this is come on, the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you. And when it, with doing that is going to resolve this situation, you're going to feel more light. You're going to feel more airy. You're going to feel like more inspired and more energetic. I feel like maybe 
I, and I could speak for myself too. Some of us have been holding on to things because we're just so used to doing it or we're so used to having them. Or even if it's people, places, circumstances, whatever, we're so used to it. We're on autopilot, right? But spirit, God, source energy, the most high is telling us, look, you have to put this away because so you can get to what it is that you're asking or where it is that you want to go, right? So we have yoga. Love this. It says your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercising. So some of us need to let go of the junk food. Some of us need to need to let go of like maybe our habits when it comes to certain uh, foods or lack of motion. And we need to get um, get into motion, right? And then we have animals. I love this. It says, you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. So some of you may have been longing for like a pet or may have an animal totem that has been kind of like coming up for you in the most recent past. Or maybe like, you know, the cheetah has been coming up a lot or you've been seeing like remnant, like cheetahs everywhere you've been seeing owls everywhere you've been seeing some type of animal totem trust that look it up and if it's not i feel like a pet could actually help you to maybe hone into your responsibilities or to understand that you can take care of something uh or it could just help your life help it be more fluid you know help you to leave certain things in the past and look this person's carrying a dog i just seen this this person is carrying a dog. So, you know, you may want a dog or you may have like a dog coming into your life soon, a puppy, and it'll really help you. Okay. So yeah, pile number twos. With that being said, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. If you like this reading, if it resonated with you, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Y'all, I'm dropping these tarot journals Friday fingers crossed fingers crossed uh i know i have to wait till they're like posted they're going live so you know give or take friday to like you know the monday that following monday okay but uh if the journals are here the link will be in the description box down below me and sandrine and put our heart and soul into it so please enjoy them i'll also with Sandrine Ann's permission, I'll put her uh, Instagram in my description box below also. So I love you all, pile number twos, and I will see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really beautiful golden stone star, okay? So um, I want, I just got a crystal Bible book, so I definitely want to read to you all uh, what this golden star what this golden stone, excuse me, means in regards to advice on your path right now, okay? Okay, pile number two. So this gold stone is uh, called the stone of ambition and is said to help assist in attaining goals. So I have a feeling, pile number three, y'all have a lot of goals that you want to accomplish. Maybe now and um into 2023 and i feel like this gold stone it's man-made too this is a man-made crystal but this gold stone is also signifying that you are a star you do have the capacity to achieve anything that you want in this life and beyond right and uh i have a feeling that the gold stone would be really great in assisting you on your path if you know what you want right if you are really goal oriented you know what you want you know how you know the, the whys, the what's, the hows, right? That will assist you on your path. I also feel like, um, yeah, so let's let's get into it. Let's get into it, pile number threes. So let's unveil your pile selection card as it pertains to advice on your path right now, okay? So we have opposition. Interesting, very interesting. It says, imbalance, a point, a point of tension, and a power struggle. I keep saying this, but I'm really going to start doing it. Um, I'm going to start shuffling on camera because during the pile selection portion of the readings, because 
come on, like the energy never lies. And you literally have the emperor and the two of cups right in this area. We'll get to that. But this opposition card, imbalance and point of tension in a power struggle. I feel like you feel like you're in a power struggle right now, pile number threes, with something that you have wanted versus your newfound goals or something along that along those lines, right? I don't know why I'm getting that. Something that you have wanted for a while. I feel like two things simultaneously you have wanted for a while. They, they're coming in at the same time and it almost seems like they're competing with each other or it almost feels as if they're competing with each other, right? They're, they're creating this tension, this opposition. So let's get into it. I want to read a little bit of the opposition card from the Heavenly Bodies astrology deck. So let's see. Okay, so it says when two planets sit 180 degrees away from one another, they are in opposition. Symbolically, this means they're in conflict as their respective energies face off and compete with one another. In order for peace and harmony to occur, all planets must find expression and this aspect reveals an imbalance where one energy eclipses the other. Now it says, um, da -da -da -da. so yeah, so it says energetics imbalance experiences a power struggle, a point, a point of tension. All right. So, yeah. So we're definitely like, I feel like y'all know kind of what I like to say. There's a point of cognitive dissonance and this could be within yourself. This doesn't have to necessarily play into an external relationship, but typically our thoughts, whether they be about ourself or others tend to project into our reality. So it's, it's kind of like the same side, same side of the coin, right? So again, you could have, you could be experiencing cognitive dissonance within yourself. You telling yourself that you want one thing, but you're acting in the opposite way, right? So that's causing tension there, right? Whether it be in yourself and then it's exuding onto your reality. But let's hop into your reading. We have the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you need to leave this conflicting energy behind or you are working towards escaping this energy right now since the eight of cups is here this good this could have started when the i think the lunar eclipse happened because i know the eight of cups is a gateway card and it does signify us leaving one stage of our life or an aspect of our lives into another right and uh it's not a bad aspect that we're leaving. It's just that, okay, it's it's complete. It's done. It's finished. Now it's time to move on, right? So I feel as if maybe this could have started during the eclipse season uh, around the lunar eclipse, right? I think that was during Scorpio season, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it could still be playing itself out, right? So Let's hop into it. Let's hop into why you're feeling this way. What's causing this opposition, right? So we're going to do the Celtic cross. And in the you now heart of the matter position, we have card number four, the emperor. Okay, so I feel like you mean business right now, pile number. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Sorry. You mean business right now, pile number ones. Okay, some of you all could be Aries. You don't have to be. Or maybe you're experiencing... I, okay, so I know Jupiter is in Pisces right now, and I know Neptune is in retrograde, I think. In any case, um, <laughs> with the Emperor card here, you all could be Air, you all could be Aries. It could be an Aries wanting something from you, uh, or asking something for you, asking for your hand, right? You see, like this emperor has their hand out and they're all dressed in suave and um that could be the case right or you really just could mean business right now you really it's like either your way or the highway maybe you're a little high strung right right now not saying aries are high strung or anything like that but you could just have that like really pulsating like pensive energy built up right now because you're very focused on what you're doing right you're focused on your business you're focused on building an empire you're focused focused on getting the job done, 
right, correctly. Now, in the crossing slash uh, challenge position, we do have the two of cups. So I feel like this could be in re relation to a partnership or a relationship, right? You may feel like, oh my gosh, I need to get A, B, and C done. I need to cut the crap. I need to just get to work. But I feel like you could still be reeling off of like a, a relationship, a connection, uh, or this could have something to do with a partnership, right? That you're feeling uh, conflicted about of some sorts. It could be with a lover. It could be with a friend. It could be with a business partner. You name it. In the conscious goal position, we have the devil. So I feel like maybe you feel like someone wants to bind you or keep you stuck, but this is your conscious goal. So I really feel like you really want to break free of whatever is keeping you stuck, right? Whatever is keeping you in the past or whatever is keeping you tied up from you getting, being a leader, right? Doing what you have to do with this King of Wands being at the bottom of this devil card, right? And I feel like you might feel a little contained. You might be dealing with obsessive thought patterns, uh, lower vibrational thought patterns, just thought patterns that aren't serving you. And your conscious goal is to release yourself. And as you can see in these bird cages, these people are fighting, but these bird cages are open. They could just jump out and dip, like leave, leave the situation. But something is keeping them bound. Something is keeping them tied to this situation. And it could just be the obsessiveness, the obsessiveness obsessive tendencies of their thought patterns right now and the unconscious unconscious influence position i believe in the unconscious influence position we have the four of cups so love is being handed to you and you're you're negating it, pile number threes it's it's like the last thing that's on your mind right now now for some reason i'm getting like passion romantic love something is really being offered to you on a silver platter and you're, you're just like you have your mind on other things right and I feel like that is a luxury that is a lug luxury that you have right now and I feel like you're unconsciously doing it right it's almost like a form of self-sabotage but you're not trying to do this I just feel like you're, you're really caught up in your head and that's why you're not accepting this cup that someone or something is giving to you right now in the past position we have the eight of swords so it's it's no doubt in my mind that this is due to anxiety that's why you're not able to receive the love that's being given to you right now or receive the outpouring or the affection that others whether it be in a romantic relationship or your family friends your business partners your constituents are giving to you right now because you have it people love you people want to see you win but i feel like you're so caught up in this self-defeating, self-limiting belief, this mindset that you're not able to see what's being offered to you right now, okay? And that's where I go back with this opposition card that it kind of pertains to maybe this is you versus you right now. You're not realizing it. In the approaching influence, we have the magician, okay? So you're turning things around. I feel like you're you're peeping game, so to speak, okay? That's that's slang for like, you're you're getting a whiff of your own crap, right? You're, you're seeing what's no longer serving you. What, like, this isn't working. Me being perpetually in my head, me being the Debbie or the, the Donovan Downer. <laughs> I just made that up. So me being the Devin or the Donovan or the whoever Downer, it's not working. Let me switch it up. Let me mix some stuff up. Let me make some magic here, okay? And it, it, you're going to make magic as it pertains to the things that you're creating, as it pertains to the environment and the empire and the infrastructure that you're building, pile number threes. I'm really glad for this. I'm glad to see this, okay? So that's the approaching influence. Don't forget. So you're making magic right now. I mean, that's lovely. And your inner resources and talents position it's the Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like you're okay with taking things slow right now. And I feel like this is also ushering in why you're feeling that cognitive cognitive dissonance is because you might want things to speed up, but you know the proper thing to do right now is to take it slow, is to just go with the flow, allow things to happen organically. Don't rush into them. Don't feel like you're like 
shoving something in someone's face or down their throat, things of that nature. Like you just let letting things unfold organically because you know, and the other person knows that is the best way. That's the best. That is the best foot forward. What is this on this card here? So yeah, that's the best foot forward. So slow and steady wins the race because this person really wants to give you everything, but they want to make sure that you're all here too. Or if it's not this person, this situation, God, spirit, source, energy, the most high, they want to give to you everything that you want, but they want to also ensure that you can handle it, that you know what you're doing before you just hop right into something. And how others see you, we have the king of wands. People see you as a leader. People know you're a leader. People know that you have a good head on your shoulders, that you're graceful, that you operate intact, that you you know a lot about, uh, you're an expert, okay? And they love your presence and how you're able to really convey certain ideologies and you're just an innate leader. Some of you all's life path, life path may be one okay because we have the emperor and the king of wands in this um reading so it's definitely giving leadership it's definitely giving head honcho <laughs> right or head honcho <laughs> so in uh the hopes and fears position i feel like you're hoping for like some good news you're hoping for some good news you're hoping for some adventure you're hoping for you know a little light-hearted fun but I feel like also it, you could be simultaneously fearing, you know, kind of going down that route. Although I feel like you are pile number threes. Uh, you're going to like whether that's going out with friends or having a friend hit you up like, hey, let's go out or, you know, come celebrate with me. Something like that, because you're in your head that eight of swords in regards to like, oh, I got to get this and that done. And oh, I'm ill prepared and yada, yada, yada. But I feel like don't fear this. I think it's what you need. It's going to allow you to get out of your head, feel more comfortable in your body, right? And, and you know, just being in your in, in your body. And uh, it's going to allow you to kind of like be more chill, be more zen, right? And then the outcome position, we have the Ace of Cups. Y'all got two cards, the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So here's the thing. This is evident what this is saying. It's like someone is giving this person a cup and they're like, eh, not so fast, right? Pile number threes. Leave this self-defeating, this limit, self-limiting beliefs. You're, you're causing this. I just want to tell you that. And I love you. I love you, pile number threes. Pile number threes, that's usually the pile that I go to. Three or sometimes three or one, right? It just sometimes depends when I'm looking at other pick cards. So I'm really saying this to myself and saying this to you. Chill. Someone's really offering you love. And I feel like you, you have your reservations. You have your reservations. But I feel like it's because you have established boundaries that you won't forsake for anybody, okay? Whether you love them or not or whether you're in love with them or not, or whether, you know, you really um, value the connection or not, you're just making sure that you maintain your boundaries, right? Which I love. This is hilarious to me. This <laughs> seven of wands, she's, they're like, no, just stay right there. Okay, enough. <laughs> but uh, all jokes aside, I really do feel like uh, beautiful love is coming in for you. So it's okay to enter with caution and to stand up for yourself. But don't be defensive about the love that someone's pouring into you. Because I feel like it's that defensiveness is it's because it's something in your head that's telling you you can't trust this person. But I feel like it's fear. It's false evidence appearing real. It's there is no um, data to back why you cannot trust this person, you know, or not even just a person, this situation, whatever's offering you love. This could be a friend, family member, uh, a lover, a loved one, who you name it, right? But there is no, it's really just you against you right now. That's it. That's all I'm, I can really say. And what will help you out is meditating, right? So that advice that will help you out on your path is not only meditating, but really getting still, the stillness, right? And reprogramming your mind out of this uh, self-imposed limitations, right? Yeah. You're moving away from that as we speak, but with that outcome, someone's really pouring into you. 
uh, and it's it's like you are really kind of you 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 don't want it to come in, or you're a little hesitant to accept this pouring of love, right? So let's pull some more cards from the Life Purpose Oracle deck to conclude your reading. So let me cleanse this deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving our pile number threes clear, concise, accurate messages, advice, guidance, and wisdom to help them on their path right now. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to help them on their path right now, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So the first card is spiritual teacher. Okay. It says you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So some of you all are spiritual teachers or you love to give spiritual advice. Uh, you really like to talk people through things and help them out. Um, when the time calls, right? You have gone, garnered a lot of wisdom, a lot of uh, knowledge about spirituality, and you can really help those who, who seek it, right? So I feel like because you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars, as this card would suggest, I feel like that's... You may be wondering whether or not... Um, something, maybe a relationship or maybe a connection will allow you to continue to do that if this person isn't in alignment or something. That's just what I'm getting, but let's let's see what the other cards have to say. So it's, it, well, <laughs> so we have Oracle cards. It says you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So I feel like um, this is a double confirmation reading because obviously, yeah, we're using Oracle cards and we're using tarot, but this reading is really helping you to, is really helping you in relation to understanding a lot of this is in your mind, right? And it probably is through repetition of thoughts, right? So y'all are on the right path. A lot of you all could have spiritual practices, spiritual guidance, right? Uh, spiritual guidance, spiritual practices in the realm of this is what you do for work. So a lot of you all could be tarot readers. A lot of you all could be oracle card readers. A lot of you all could be energy workers, things of that nature, right? And we have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Okay, pile number threes. I love this for you. And so adhere to this message. Like really, really listen. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Bottom of the deck, we have study. Reading, researching, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. Period. Okay. So this is what's going on. A lot of y'all have this spiritual calling or tendency or gift to help others uh, find their way spiritually, right? I feel like what's going to get you out of your head is really dedicating yourself to your work with this emperor card being uh, in the you now position, right? The opposition will stop once you stop overanalyzing. Oh, should I, should I, should I? Oh, I need to post or I need to do this or I need to do, do that and just do it because this is your call, calling. This is your path, right? Um, and I feel like those of you all who are in a connection, who are in a relationship or who are dealing with, uh, people external from you or even your own, you know, that other side of your consciousness, that other side of, side of your psyche, you're experiencing this dissonance on the external world because you're experiencing the dissonance in your internal world because you know what you need to do, right? Spiritual teacher, Oracle cards, practice, come on, study, keep growing and becoming an expert in your field is going to alleviate a lot of pressure and strain off of you in regards to your outside relationships. I feel like you could be using an external relationship almost as like a scapegoat, okay? As it pertains to just delving into your career path, delving into what you know you need to do, delving into your readings, delving into your business, delving into helping others, because this is what you're here to do. Like it says it evidently in the cards, especially the Oracle cards. It's like, sheesh, one after the other, right? Start studying, 
tarot more. Start in indulging yourself in what you love and in what you're building and everything else is going to fall into place, okay? So with that being said, pile number threes, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who you think would best benefit from the information provided here today. The Tarot Journal should be up by tomorrow, which is December 2nd, or by Monday. I'm just waiting for them to, you know, approve all the doodads and then you all should be able to purchase them okay so with that being said my lovely dreamy dreamers i love you so much pile number threes and i'll see you in your next reading bye hey pile number fours welcome back to your reading so you all chose this beautiful clear quartz crystal okay so i do have a crystal bible that i want to read for y'all uh, i don't know why it's taking me this long to get that crystal bible but i'm glad i have it now so i want to share with you all the clay cults um description in it okay give me uno momento um all right so we're looking under quartz Okay, so we have the pillar. This is what this is called. I'm going to start. You see, this is why I like to read because it tells us what we need to know. All right, so we have the pillar-shaped <laughs> clear quartz, okay? So it says attributes. Quartz is the most powerful healing and energy amplifier on the planet because of its unique helic spiral crystalline form. Found worldwide, it absorbs, stores, releases, and regulates energy and is excellent for unblocking it. Okay. So I'll also continue. It says this crystal works at a vibrational level, attuned to the specific energy requirements of the person needing healing or undertaking spiritual work. It takes the energy to the most perfect state possible going back to before the dis-ease set in. It cleans and it enhances the organs and subtle bodies and acts as a deep soul cleanser connecting the physical dimension with the mind. So pile number fours. I'm getting deep spiritual healing is in process, right? You're, you're in the process of healing and calming and cooling. But also what's going to aid in your on your path right now is getting clear. I feel like maybe some of you all, not everyone, maybe most of us, okay? Most of us have been feeling like we've been chasing our tails, but it's because we have not gotten clear about our goals or the things that we want to happen or the things that we want in our lives or whatever, because it almost feels monotonous, right? It almost feels like it's always one thing after the other after the other. So after you've hit a certain amount of goals or some targets, you start to maybe spiral a little bit because it's like, okay, well, dang, I just accomplished that. So like, now I have to set another goal, but I haven't even fully like embraced or have been able to celebrate the last one, right? So I feel like that could be why a lot of us have been chasing our tails, but also that might only pertain to some people. But others, it's the end of the year. We are very, I feel like as a society, people are good innately. So we are, are serving others right now. So we might haven't even taken the time to really get clear on the things that we want to achieve as an individual, right? So again, this clear quartz is coming into you to tell you, right? To, to, to inspire or to suggest getting clear when it comes to your purpose or what it may be that you might want to achieve now or in the near future, okay? So I digress. Let's reveal your pal selection card. So we have Yang, okay? So it says productivity, expression, doing, and forward motion. Like I, I, I've i said it once and I'll say it again. <laughs> I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. I will start um, shuffling on screen just because I want you all to see like the synchronicities blaring out through these readings, right? So this is Yang energy. This is like get going. This is like 
put one foot in front of the other and don't stop until you're until you've gotten what you've came here to got what you came here to get or whatever okay so i'm gonna read a little bit of this yang energy from the guidebook of the heavenly bodies astrology deck so let's see All right, so it says Yang. It says, this is the energy of the divine masculine, one half of creation. This force pushes the spiritual realms inward night, inward night into the physical light of day. Outward and pro proactive, it brings forth material life. This is a dynamic, manifesting, doing energy. It's tangible and linear. One plus one equals two, right? It's ego and living consciousness and the named, spoken, expressed realm of waking life. Okay, so let me repeat that because I felt like that came out weird. It's ego and living consciousness and the, uh, and the named, spoken, expressed realm of waking life. Okay, cool. So it says, um, okay, I'll read all this because it's short. It says, being an active creative force it's being an active creative force it's linked to the elements of fire and air this is not the realm of water's emotions or earth's patience it says as a result all fire and air signs within the zodiac are considered yang aries gemini leo libra sagittarius and aquarius it says keep in mind that this is distilled masculinity and makes no reference to physical sexes yang energy lives within both male and female bodies of course so it says keywords, energetics, which is like, I guess, just emphasis on the keywords, proactivity, expression, masculinity, outward, physical, experience, experiences, forward motion, forward motion, forward motion, doing, shadow, impatient, and aggressive, okay? So again, pile number four is what I'm seeing is that spirit, God, source energy, you name it, whatever you call the omnipotent is urging you to get more specific in your direction. Because once you get more clear, once you get more, become more specific in the direction that you're headed, then you're full steam ahead. That's what I'm getting, right? Just, yeah, just, just off the bat, off the clear courts, choice and then the yang energy it's like garner clarity or once clarity comes into your existence boom you're full steam ahead okay nothing can stop you so let's delve into your reading at the bottom of the deck we have the four of swords now with the four of swords you could be like taking a break kind of moving inch by inch instead of one foot in front of the other right moving glacially or not at all, because you need this space, you need this break to garner that directive. You need to feel reinvigorated and inspired and maybe you've just been going, going, going to the point where you felt like all your energy has waned or all of it was gone, right? So you needed to take a break, take a breather, kind of extract yourself out of the 3D for a little bit and really go inward and in silence and in prayer and in repose, right? So you all did have an extra card, which is the five of pentacles. You could be kind of like feeling a little insulated, maybe insular to yourself right now, kind of feeling like a little woe is me, kind of feeling like you've been left out of the cold, but I feel like this is of your own doing. You see how there's this bright bustling green forest outside of wherever they're at? They can just kind of like go out that window or leave, right? Obviously there's something beautiful without their own enclave, right? And um, they could just enjoy that beauty that's waiting for them. There's bamboo and this is a panda. Panda loves bamboos, right? So they could just literally go outside of their, their little shell and go find what will help them, what will make them happy, what what it is that they're they're wanting, right? <laughs> or what it is that y'all are wanting right now, right? And I feel like because you've taken this much needed break, now you're going to have that momentum and that energy to do so, right? Especially with the yang energy. Yang is very vi is vitality, it's full of energy because it's, it's all about moving, it's movement, right? So you have to have some energy to get in movement, get in motion, right? So I digress, let's read your 
cards. Uh, we're going to do the Celtic cross starting in the you now heart of the matter, <laughs> matter position. This is so funny to me because this person, I don't know if they're just having a good old time or they're like running. They're just, they're just happy. They're, they're happy. They're celebrating their four of wands energy. So in the you now heart of the matter energy pile number four is Y'all are content. Y'all are okay. I feel like y'all feel like, you know, everything's stable. Um, you have what you need, okay? You have a lot of freedom too. But with freedom comes responsibility. So what are you doing with the freedom that you ha currently have? Are you just twiddling your thumbs? Are you wasting away? Are you resenting the freedom that you have, okay? Uh, what's going on? Because some could say that this person is kind of like running away from this four wands it's almost like this threshold this ceremony that they're about to partake in right in the crossing slash challenge position we have the two of pentacles so i feel like you're just really trying to keep your footing your proverbial footing pile number fours and you're just trying to keep afloat you're trying to maintain the balance you're trying to have fun you're trying to be happy you're trying to celebrate your victories and your wins but you know it's the emotional life that you're balancing with your physical world too and sometimes that that can become a task but if we have enough energy and wherewithal to reframe our mindset and have it feel more like a game, right? Having fun, then I feel like that will help to give us clarity uh, and forward movement, right? In your conscious goal position or in your conscious, yeah, in conscious goal position, we have the magician. So you know how to make your magic. You know how to work your magic. And I feel like you are really um, consciously uh, moving towards working your magic and creating a proverbial nothing out of something, right? I feel like you know what to do. You know you're the orchestra, you know you're the orchestra orchestrator of your life. So you know you're you're really trying to delve into this energy right now with the conscious goal position as to make manifest, be be that master manifester that you know you are. You know. In the unconscious position, we have the high priestess card number two. So I feel like there's a lot of unconscious, subconscious. Uh, secrets or energies pouring out to you. You could be inundated with things that you you know you're being made aware of, but you have yet to find out why you are being made aware of this stuff, right? Uh, this could be a very spiritual time for you in which you are getting like downloads, psychic downloads, just energetic downloads of all sorts, right? That are pouring into your subconscious right now. And it's, it's maybe allowing a little conflict to, to happen in, in your internal world, okay? In the past position, we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you you know that there are so many options available to you. I feel like in the past, you could have moved in like a paralysis state when it, come, when it came to this many options because you didn't know what to choose from first, right? It could have just left you. You know how you have so many options, you could do so many things, you end up doing nothing. I feel like that's what happened in the past, right? You didn't have clarity. You're confused by the amount of options that you had you know, in front of you. So you just end up doing nothing because you didn't want to make the wrong decision, right? So in the approaching influence, we have the Ace of Swords. So of course, what we what we just spoke about with the clear courts, there's clarity coming in. There is this peace of mind. There is the, the fog lifting from that confusion state that the Seven of Cups bring to you. And there's not only clarity, but a victory in receiving that, that clear mind, right? That this clear courts, uh, if you haven't, garnered that clarity yet you will but if you want to accelerate the process you could use the clear courts to do that right so you, yeah you're having a victory here and i feel like with that hummingbird <laughs> kind of like carrying that sword towards you it's almost like your angels ancestors and guides are bestowing this clarity to you if you just listen right and pay close attention which i feel like you are especially with this being in the approaching influence position so your inner resources and talents, the three of cups. I feel like you know how to have a good time, pile number fours. You know how to have a good time. You know how to celebrate your wins. You know how to keep things light. You know how to celebrate the wins and the victories of others too, which uh, 
gives you a lot of friendships and camaraderie too. People want to be there for you because they not only see you excelling in life, but you are able to offer uh, your friends, friends, family, your loved ones, your constituents uh, praise praise when they sell, when they are ex uh, achieving things in life as well. Okay in how others <laughs> how others see you as a four of pentacles so people kind of see you kind of maybe reserved maybe a little stern right now maybe just keeping keeping your cards close to your chest not wanting to spend a lot of money not wanting to do a lot of things like keeping the things that you have to yourself right um it's almost like mind energy, right? Because you're manifesting something beautiful and I feel like people realize that and maybe they feel like you're oh, okay, they're being a little mean right now, but I feel like you you might be being a little stern or reserved just because you you don't want to share the news prematurely or you don't want to share your resources or the things that you have acquired too prematurely and then not have anything to show for it, right? Also, uh, you could be kind of like penny pension right now. You could be wanting more abundance or money or material. So you know you have to really double down when it comes to saving or, you know, not to say you're in a lack mind uh, state by saving, but you, you just want to be more conscientious of how you're distributing your funds, how you're distributing your energy too, right? So in um, your hopes and fears, we have the five of, five of wands. So I feel like there's strategy here that you want to impart on whatever it is that you're doing. You want to move accordingly. You want to move, um, how can I say? You want to just move properly, right? So you might be sparring with yourself, your your inner self or your, your other side. So maybe that high priestess energy, that dark feminine energy is sparring with the masculine energy, the yang energy, right? Uh, the magician, right? We have one and two here. And I feel like you're going to come to a resolve. You're going to come to a balance because you see this fire, right? I feel like because you're sparring with the insights that you're garnering and then you are taking action on those insights is going to create this spark. And I feel like that's what you're hoping. You're hoping to kind of like make fire in like an and in um like in the ways of antiquity, right? You don't have a lighter. You just know what you're doing. You know the right components to kind of like put into place here. So it's making that fire. Now in your fears I feel like you don't want to get beside yourself. You don't want to feel like you're too conflicted or you're sparring too much that you drown out one side for the other. You want to keep this healthy balance because um, you feel like it'll help you. Now, in the outcome position, we have the Queen of Swords. So look, you know what you're doing. You're experienced. Um you offer other people experience. I mean, you offer other people insight and wisdom through your experiences and you know what you're doing. So trust yourself. Pile number, pile number four is okay. You have this mental clarity, you have this mental dexterity and you know, you're about it. You're, you're about it. Okay. You're no longer in this foggy state when it comes to the seven of cups, you're no longer wondering what you want to do or trying to find yourself or trying to figure it out. You, you know what you want to do. So now you're moving accordingly. And I love that. All right. So now let's pull three cards to conclude your reading. Pile number fours. Clear, concise, accurate messages here for our pile number fours. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number fours that will help them on their path right now. We're pulling from the Life Purpose Oracle decks, deck. Three cards. Advice, guidance, and wisdom. Thank you. One more card. I mean, two cards. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to help pile number fours on their path right now. Okay. <laughs> Advice, guidance, and wisdom to help pile number fours on their path right now. Perfect. Look at this. So we have at the bottom of the deck children. It says your life pur purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. I love that. So we'll get to that. Let's put this here. 
animals, okay? So we have animals. It says, you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are a part of your life's work. So I feel like you are meant to have like a trusty steed, a trusty companion alongside of you uh, as you move through life, whether that be a pet, like a kitten or a cat or a dog or a gerbil, I don't know, ferret, whatever pet you like. But I feel like you're meant to have one um, in your life and on your path. It's really going to keep your spirits up too. And it's going to it's gonna teach you a lot more about yourself, right? Um, and come on, y'all seen this pop up. You're on the right path. So it says, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Exactly. You're on the right path. You're crystal clear with that queen of swords. Trust yourself because you're guiding alongside spirit, God, source energy, you're guiding yourself along, you're co-creating your existence basically, and it's working. And so we have flowers. I love this. It says flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life's purpose. So some of you all could be, your life's purpose is, could be a florist. You could love arranging flowers. Uh, it could be having like a farm and on that farm you focus more on like uh, horticulture? I don't know if that's right or not. Horticulture or something like that. But I feel like flowers really reinvigorate you. It really, it, it, it they inspire you. Okay, so you might want to start keeping more flowers in your home. You might you know, when, whenever you're feeling down or you're feeling like you don't know what to do, maybe go do some flower arranging, you know, like if you have a, um, what is it called? If you have a, um, a farmer's market by where you live, you know, usually people are there selling flowers, go get a couple bundles and like just play around, arrange the flowers and, you know, kind of have fun, be lighthearted when it comes to that. Now at the bottom of the deck, it says your life purpose involves helping and teaching and healing children. So some of you all may be teachers, may just love children. You resonate with children and animals the most. Uh, Cause look, there's even like a freaking lion right there that these kids are <laughs> riding and there's like a little lamb. So I feel like, uh, you might actually be thinking about just living a, I'm getting soft life pile number ones. I'm getting soft life, but I'm also getting you like energetically speaking, you are very fast. You're very quick. You're very quick on the draw, but I'm getting that you're on the right path to your soft life. So you might have to do some things right now and kind of like uh build your own structures right now and your own stability right now but you're heading towards that soft kind of lifestyle that you've always dreamt of maybe it's going back into the classroom for those of you who are teachers that's working with children uh having pets and uh animals around you more so than not right and uh you could be into you know, floral arrangements and just living like this kind of like delicate type of lifestyle is what I'm getting. So I feel like you're putting in the work now because in the near future or when, uh, when you see fit, when spirit sees fit, you're going to be ushered into like this, the soft type of lifestyle, no matter who you are, male, female, no matter how you identify, I feel like it'll be more lax because I feel like you've put the work in, in advance and then now you're reaping the the rewards of that okay so i love this i love this pile number four is amazing job so if you liked this if you love this message also or feel like it will benefit someone else please hit that like button uh like share and subscribe to this youtube channel uh share this with loved ones fans friends family or anyone else who you feel that will best benefit from this message okay also we're going to have the journals live either tomorrow or by Monday. I'm just waiting for, you know, uh, the green light uh, that everything is, you know, all the dots, all the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed. OK, and I'm really excited. We really worked very hard uh, on this journal. So uh, just keep an eye out on the description box down below until that link is dropped. OK, for purchase. So I love you all so much. Pile number fours. And until next time, I will see you in our next reading. Bye.